Hello and welcome. So in this video, we are going to build a stock price chart like that in Python, by just using four lines of code. So just as a background, I'm currently working on another trading strategy for this channel, and I needed a tool to quickly visualize certain price patterns, and thereby I found this library, and I think it's very interesting. So yeah, definitely stay tuned, take a look at that. Maybe you already know this library, then I'm sorry, but I think it's worth it taking a look at that. Let's get into action. Before we are starting, we need to install two libraries. The first one is Joe Finance, so we are just typing in pip install y finance. And as you see, in my case, the requirement is already satisfied. The second one is MPL Finance. So we are installing that. And again, in my case, the requirement is already satisfied. After you have installed those libraries, you are importing them. So we are importing y finance as yf and we are importing MPL finance as MPF. Now we need to get a data frame out of Yahoo Finance. As an alternative, you can also use the Pandas data reader. It's also working. So first of all, we are getting some stock price data. So let's use yf.download and let's just take Apple as an example. And we are starting, let's just go six months back in the past. So we are starting at, what is it? October, right? Roughly. Okay, so we are downloading that and we are getting a data frame like this. And what is important to understand is using the MPL finance library, you need to have a data frame exactly like this. Otherwise it wouldn't work. So if you're working with CSV files, for example, you have to make sure that they are structured like that here, right? And then, so let's get rid of that now. And then in the next step, we are just using the MPF library, use plot and then plot the data frame, nothing more than that. And with that, we are getting a price chart like that, right? So this is helpful, but this is not fancy, right? So we wanna have a cool looking fancy candlestick uh, moving average chart, right? So let's build that. Therefore, we have to define some um, optional arguments. So for example, we can define a type as candle and then we are getting candlesticks as you see here, right? And what I also showed you in the beginning, we could add the volume below this chart by just defining the volume as true, right? So now we are getting the volume. To add moving averages over this chart, we can define, let's take the five day moving average, MAV as five. So let's execute that. And now we see we are getting this simple moving average over five days in this chart, right? And we can also, and that's the cool thing now, we can also define multiple moving averages. So we have to define them in a tuple here so we can compare the five and 10 day moving average. So now you see we are getting the 10 day moving average as well. And as you see from now on, we could also, or we can already build a crossover strategy. I have explained that in another video on my channel, be kind invited to check that out. But you see those crossovers here, and that's pretty cool to build a trading strategy, right? Nevertheless, what else can we define in the layout? So right now you see that between this edge here and the candlestick chart, we have a distance. We can turn that off by just defining the tight layout as true. And now you see we have this already pretty awesome looking chart here, right? Can I zoom it out? Wait, yeah. I think that's fine, right? Okay, so what else can we do? We can define the style. So the um, style right now is, I think it's the standard style, but um, there are a lot of styles. I'm going to show you in some seconds how you can get an overview of which styles you can use. But in the beginning, I was using the mic style, right? So if I'm Executing that, now you see I'm getting this very fancy price chart. Pretty cool, right? 
Let me know what you think in the comments below. I think it's pretty awesome. But what else do I want to show you? Um, you can also turn off the non-trading days, right? So weekends, for example, I find that pretty helpful. So you can do that by show non-trading as true. And now you see that you have those gaps here in the volume, uh, but also in the in the chart, right? So yeah, pretty, pretty helpful, I think. So what else? Yeah, I wanted to show you how you can get an overview of styles you can use. So of course, this library has a lot more functions, right? So if you want to have a deeper dive into that, you can always use the DIR function or just take a look at the official documentation. And then you see some um, methods and properties here. So um, you always see we have available styles here. So we can just use MPF dot available styles. Available. Avail. <laughs> okay. Available styles. And now you see that we have those styles. I don't even know them all. What is stars and stripes? Let, let's quick check that. So this is the, the American flag or <laughs> what? Yes. Oh, that's pretty nice. Uh, let's quickly take a look. Jahoo you can also take. So then you will get the standard Jahoo chart. So you have this one here, right? And so on. So I don't want to bore you right now. So yeah, and that's already it. I hope um, you can extract value out of that. I hope this was helpful for you. In case you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.